Hey guys, Mr. Story. Today I want to talk about another type of equation that we can use to graph lines. Uh, and it's a form, just like slope-intercept form, just like standard form. This is called point-slope form. And what point-slope form does is it tells us two pieces of information. A point, or an ordered pair, and the slope. Our formula, or our equation, or our general equation for point-slope form is y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x sub 1. And what you'll notice is, you know, these, this x sub 1 and y sub 1, that is where our ordered pair comes from. So from this equation, we'll be able to pull out an ordered pair. In blue here, I have m, which is our slope, and we'll be able to pull that out as well. What I'd like to do is today, I'd like to build point slope form looking equations. Uh, but when we're given a slope and an ordered pair or a point. So no better way than just to let's jump right in. Notice that it's going to start as y. Now, I need to do minus y sub 1. So I need to do minus. Remember, that comes from my ordered pair. This is, we're going to call this x sub 1 and y sub 1. Now, there is no x sub 2 or y sub 2 like there is in the slope formula. Um, so we just kind of use this ordered pair as it is. Well, I need to do y minus y sub 1, which is 4. Okay? And it looks kind of weird because it's like, okay, that's positive 4, but that's minus 4. And why is that? You know, that's just what point slope form is formatted to look like. Well, next up is the equal sign. And then we have our slope, our m, which is 5. Next up is a parenthesis and an x. Now we need to do minus my x sub 1. Well, minus my x sub 1 in this case is 3. This equation is written in point slope form. Uh, notice we have our ordered pair, 3, 4, and uh, my slope is 5. Looking at number 2, it's the same idea. We're going to do y minus, well, x sub 1, y sub 1. Notice that my, my y is negative, and we'll come back for this, but I'm going to do y minus negative 4. Okay, we can kind of keep that for now. And we'll continue, equals m, m is my slope, 3 halves, parenthesis, x minus x sub 1, which is negative 6. Now, there's a lot going on there, okay? So what we like to do is actually clean this up a little bit, right? Instead of writing y minus negative 4, we can actually write y plus 4, right? Um, the subtracting a negative and adding are identical. And just for kind of our eyes and our sanity, you know, it's nice to replace those minus negatives with just pluses. Well, let's continue simplifying. 3 halves times the quantity of x. And the same thing happens here. Notice, you know, this is minus a negative. So let's replace that with plus and just have 6. Now, in my opinion, this is much easier to look at than what we had above, but what we have to remember is, you know, that we did some swapping here uh, in order to make this work. Looking at number three, again, y minus y sub 1, which is negative 5 in this case. y sub 1, x sub 1, equals my slope, which is negative 2, times the quantity of x minus just a positive 8, so x minus 8. Now, do you see any cleaning up that needs to happen? I do, right, right here. Uh, we don't kind of, we really don't want to stay away from this, uh, this minus a negative idea. And remember, we, should, we can simply just write y plus 5 instead. Minus 2, and again, I'm just copying the minus 8 is okay. That's nice and neat to look at. There's not like this double sign thing happening. So we're in good shape. So notice we have y plus 5 equals negative 2 times the quantity of x minus 8. Last but not least, same idea happens again, guys. y minus my y sub 1 is 7. Okay, so I don't have that double sign thing happening. That's good. Equals negative 1. That's my slope outside of my parenthesis, times the quantity of x minus, oh, looks like I'm going to have the ne uh, double negative here. 
So before I proceed, it's kind of, it's good taste to, to clean this up. Y minus seven is okay, equals negative one times the quantity of X plus three. So a way you can think about it is, and it's kind of confusing because you have like two different swaps happening here. Notice that the ordered pair is three, four, but the order that it shows up in point slope form is four, three. Right, so notice that happens every time here, like things are switching around. And not only is that happening, we're also switching signs. So notice my, my four goes from positive four to negative four, and my positive three goes to negative three, right? And just the same happens kind of throughout here. Notice my positive eight turns into minus eight or negative eight. My negative five turns into positive five. So if that's a way you would like to think about it, that's okay too. But one last thing I can point out here is this is an appropriate answer for this. This would be okay in my math class. Uh, however, there, there's some things here that you're like, okay, well, could I take it another step further? Well, sure you could have. Uh, now we have a coefficient of one, so this could also look like this. Y minus seven equals negative times the quantity of X plus three. Remember, just like we can put that one there, we can also take it away. Now, even further than that, some people uh, might say, hey, uh, you know, can I distribute that negative through there? Yeah, you can. Uh, you're kind of breaking point slope form. Um, however, it is something that can be done. And we'll do more with this later. So, you know, probably a more unpopular answer, but maybe an answer nonetheless. You would have y minus 7 equals, and we're going to distribute that negative through. So negative 1 times x would be negative x. Negative 1 times 3 would be negative 3 or minus 3. So, Again, this kind of breaks the mold of point slope form, but again, some people might take it to that step. I think these two are more appropriate answers for this. Uh, however, a possibility of that third would be okay too, I guess, right? We didn't really do it here, 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 simply because it wasn't a coefficient of one, um, where, you know, it just kind of changes things to its opposite. Um, but this is how we write point slope form. Again, it's just like slope intercept. It just tells us different information. Um, so we're going to do a lot of similar practice with this, uh, kind of moving forward here, but guys, that's all I have for you today in this one. We'll talk to you in the next one.